Sorry about the background noise. Uh, people cutting their grass and my son playing hockey and all that. Um, today's video, gonna make it as quick as I can, as short as I can. I should be able to keep it short because um, it's all about bumpers and I put chrome light bezels on my car, changed it up a little bit, but there's enough videos about how to all do that and I didn't need to cover that stuff. What this is going to be about is the impact strip that I purchased for the front bumper only at this point. Um, yeah, because there's nothing out there to show how to how they work and how they install. It doesn't look like it's going to be that bad, but I figure I'll film it anyway. So the bumpers I got, I found uh, from somebody not too far away, gave me, uh, sold them to me. They're VW stamped uh, bumpers. I got them for a steal, fifty dollars Canadian for the pair. The front one was in good condition on the front. The back is the typical rusty whatever. Uh, the back rear bumper was um, what? There was one issue at quick glance. At quick glance, it looks very nice, right? Fantastic. But then it's been hit at some point in its history. And I felt I couldn't put that, I didn't want to put that on the back of the car. I couldn't live with that. That's just me. Bumpers were still, the bumpers were still a great deal. So what I ended up doing was uh, purchasing a new, um, bumper from CIP. Uh, I got their mid-grade uh, level bumper. It's not the show quality one and it's not the budget one. It's kind of in between. Uh, it's it's thick enough. It's nice. I like it. it. Turned out really good. So the back is complete. Um, I did uh, take all the brackets out of my parts box, clean those up, spray painted all that. The front bumper I masked off, wire brushed the back and uh, cleaned all that up cleaned all the rust and put new protectant on the back so it doesn't rust again back there. Um, I'll walk you around the car real quick and show you what it looks like for now. So there's the front. Uh, there's the front. Bumper looking pretty good, all cleaned up. I used the goo gone after I peeled all the factory black tape off there and get all the glue off it. Uh, new bezels, like I said, they're the top quality ones from CIP. Um, back of the bumper on the front there's one of the brackets just to give you an example I cleaned all that up gave them a real a nice blast black gloss black paint cleaned them all up back of the bumper good as new like maybe I should have done a video on how I did that to clean them all up but I didn't and then real back real quick on the back of the car so mid-grade level Bumper, clean, looks nice I think, pretty happy. So now it's on to this, the uh, impact strip. So there's the impact strip I bought. Um, and the way these work, there is a adjustment screw right in the end, as you can maybe see there. And this is a little bit stiff here, but there's a hook. And I believe that goes in the end of the bumper. Go right there, hook into that. Then I'll stretch all the way around, hook it into the other side, and then tighten the screw. I'm thinking that's how it works. Hopefully it's as easy as it sounds. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna get a little bit of tape and plug the holes that aren't being used just to give it some, so it doesn't trap water on the inside. So what I mean by that, you can see that it's a little bit concave here. And this uh, sits on the outer edge of the sort of indent in the bumper. So any unused holes could potentially have water just sitting inside here. So I just thought for my own peace of mind, I'm gonna plug those holes off in the bumper and uh, you know, sort of try to prevent as much water from coming back behind here as I can. Maybe help preserve the bumper a little bit. So I took a couple minutes there and uh, covered the holes up with some tape. You might not even be able to see it, but there is some tape covering those holes. That'll just seal them up, keep water from traveling in behind there and sitting. So now it's onto the strip. Hopefully this is as easy as 
it looks like it's going to be, but there's the hook. I loosened off both just by about three turns. And uh, basically I'm going to put it in the hole right there, stretch it around the other side and hopefully hook it in without too much effort. Here goes. I should also mention um, that I did take a cloth and wipe down the entire inside here just to make sure that there was no debris or anything. But uh, here we go. Got it. So the snap you heard was the hook seating itself. So you can see here where it's, you know, it does, it needs to be tightened, but it's snapped into place. So all I'm gonna do is sort of adjust it up and down, make sure it's nice and straight. And I'm gonna tighten, say one turn on that side, one turn on that side, make it nice and even. And uh, I'll show you the, I'll show you the end result. Looks pretty good for now. Well, there it is. I uh, I ended up not counting. Um, I was turning and turning and uh, it took a little while to tighten up. But anyway, it looks pretty darn good. Very happy with how that turned out. Totally changed the look of the car. I've had Nerf bars on this thing forever. So it's, uh, it's different for me, but pretty stoked. Anyway, super easy job. Um, I was hoping it was gonna take five minutes and really it took five minutes. Um, that's pretty rare. You guys know that if you're working on your own cars. Anyway, uh, super simple. Hopefully, uh, you know, if anybody's curious you're looking online and this pops up, then maybe it helps you out. Um, yeah, again, way easy uh, and very happy it looks great I think it looks great uh, the only thing I would suggest make sure you wipe the uh, strip down first before you put it on your bumper uh, make sure there's nothing back there any grit or anything like that clean it up and uh, as you tighten uh, yeah do each side so do like four turns on one side four turns on the other that sort of thing depending on how many turns you got to go I stopped counting I just whatever it was a while anyway it's tight it's straight looks good not a show car don't care about that but yeah i'm happy talk there